the game, you kind of popped up with the shoulder right before the game. So what happened with the shoulder contusion and what made you be able to think you were able to work through it and play through it tonight? Um, I just want to play games. Somebody ruined our carpet. We got to fix that. Right here. See that? Come on now. We got to do a better job now. It's right over there. It's right there. That's the piece missing. Yep. Thank you, Betty. It's my OCD kicking in. Sorry, guys. It's my OCD, can you? Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Berry. Ah. <laughs> that was the piece we've been missing. <laughs> now everything's going to go well. Um, yeah, no, I just, you know, played a lot of games. What is a game 40? I've only missed one game, which I'm very proud of. I don't want to, you know, I just want to be available for my team. And because, like, I had, like, an offseason that I wasn't, like, really playing basketball. Wasn't able to participate with the national team or practice. So basically, this is my practice. So, you know, as much as I can be available for the team and available for myself to be out there and try to, you know, work through uh, habits with the team and movements and all that, just uh, I wouldn't be able to do this this year. So, yeah, you know, sometimes you're going to be banged up. You know, you're going to play a lot of games, you're going to be banged up, you're going to play a lot of minutes, but uh, fight through it. You know, we're able to get a win. I think we have another run in two days. Hopefully we can be ready for that one. Uh, Griffith said that wasn't ex the exact play you guys are going for. Dame was supposed to have the ball at the end, but they weren't expecting you to get denied and, you know, keep the ball in your hands. Yeah. Just what does it say about, I guess, Dame and Brooke to both deviate from the play and, and make something happen in that situation? Um, no, it's, it speaks volume from those both players, you know, to just, you know, you have like five seconds to just make a decision and they made the best decision possible that uh, allowed us to uh, win the game. Um, you know, the play was for me, I think for me to get the ball and swing it out back to Dame. Um, and then Dame comes down and play one-on-one -on -one or shoot a three or get in the paint. Um, but we didn't need to do all that because he pulled up from the logo. <laughs> made a, made a shot. So, as I said, it speaks values for both players because you know they had three, three, four seconds to make the best play pass when they executed. Uh, great. Uh, we had said while he was watching, he was like, "This man's slowing down. There's five seconds left. Like, why? Like, wh wouldn't you want to try to get all the way to the rim?" And he was like, "Well, I guess it's just Dame time. So, what's what's going through your head? You don't have the ball in your hands. You're watching just the same way." I don't. Uh, first of all, I think that there was a guy behind me and a guy in front of me. And I think he threw it to Brooke and then went and got it, right? So when that happened, I'm trying to sprint as fast as I can because if Brooke doesn't give it to Dame, then Brooke can give it to me. And while I'm sprinting, this is to Dame. And then when I saw Dame had the ball, I said, okay, let me just get in the front of the rim. Like something's going to happen. He's going to drive the ball. Like let's say everybody you know, be in the pain, maybe like a tipping or whatever. If it means, then you can maybe have an, another chance. Then I saw him slowing down, sorry, I saw him slowing down and he just pulled up. And when I saw the ball in the air, I was like, this is going in, this is going in. <laughs> and he went in and it was like, everything was like slow motion. Then I saw him turn, turn the back and started doing this. Then I saw the bench coming. It's incredible, like I feel like, not to discredit Chris in any shape or form. I mean, this guy, 11 years, played 720 games with him. Uh, this was the type of shots I, I've ever seen anybody make, you know, to win a game. Up close. Uh, it was tough. Because not only, uh, not only he slowed down, he did like kind of in and out and took a step away from the defense, jumped, and while he was in the air, fade, and still was able to get it there. I don't think he touched the. I don't think he touched the rim. It was all net, you know. But at the end of the day, that's that's why I get the, pay the big bucks. Shit. Now, obviously, that's the shot everybody's going to be talking about. But Dame was saying he feels like it was actually the three, the corner three from Brooke that won the game for the team. I'm curious, what were you thinking when you saw that no, shot go in? It is, uh, you know, having a uh, uh, who missed Monk, missing two free throws, and then coming down, be able to get in the paint, and then find Brooke, uh, and he, you know, over time. He's been running up and down, blocking shots, trying to score in the paint. 
you know, he was back pedaling to the three and he was able to catch and shoot and make that, he gives us a chance. And then now you know that if they miss a free throw, you know, if we come down the other way and they miss a free throw, now you have it's bowling. So I, I'll agree with Dame. Obviously, there's no discredit Dame in any way. The shot he made, it's good that he said that, but both shots were incredible tough. We needed both shots. Um, but Dame's, I believe Dame was a tougher shot. It was incredible. Um, on a second ever back-to-back, -back, considering who you were playing, I know you want to get stops, and you did get stops in overtime, but like, did it feel like one of those where you're going to have to get buckets? Like Bobby Gill's 22-10, and 10, I think Brooks 17. I mean, did it feel like one of those two where it's like we got to make shots tonight? Yeah, you play, you play a team that want to shoot. Like I feel like once they pass half court, every shot is a good shot for them. You know, they have a guy that play make really well for them. Not one guy, two guys actually. A play make for them and uh, allow them to move without the ball and find open threes. You know they're going to score the ball. Um, they play fast, they shoot a lot of threes, they make a lot of threes. You know they're going to score 110, 120. I think they scored 135 today. So you know you got to get the stop to limit it as much as you can. But if not, you have to be able to score the ball. You have to be aggressive. You know, starting the game, I don't think we were as aggressive. But as the game went on, guys were aggressive. Camp came in and it was really aggressive. PP, Brooke was dominating the paint. Dame was being Dame, you know. And without having Chris, which, you know, down the stretch and throughout the whole game, he play makes for us, he makes shots for us. He puts us in good position. You know, we knew that other people got to step up, and I think everybody stepped up big, stepped up big time today. Coach Griff said that he feels like this was one of the best team wins of the season. Do you agree with that? Um, it has to be just because of the feeling. Like you were down six with like a minute left, right? You were able to come back. Who made the shot? Somebody made two shots. So I don't remember how how it went, but like he was able to come and win the game, so I'll agree. Uh, overtime win, it was probably our first overtime win this year, right? Yeah, I don't think uh, yeah, Did it beat the Bulls? The Bulls was yeah. the loss. We lost, we lost the from the Bulls. One. But the second one they won, yeah. We, lo we won the second one, we went overtime with the Bulls and won? Yeah. Here, I think. Here at Visor Forum, yeah. Here at Visor Forum, so, yeah. So, no, it, it has to be up there. It has to be up there for sure. Uh, probably maybe it's the best team. Win. So you Dame. mentioned someone else had shots. It actually was Dame. I don't really want to say the best team win because Chris wasn't participating in the game. I think the best team win we've had this year was against Boston. Like our defense was you know, incredible. Like it was everybody was on the same page. There was no mistakes. Everybody held one another accountable. You know, I know it wasn't a close game, but I feel like leaving the locker room to out out there on the court, like everybody was on the same page. And when somebody messed up. The other four was like on him immediately. Like, no, you got to do that better. Like, everybody wanted to kind of set the tone and you know, win that game. So, and everybody participated in that game. So, I don't want to say this was the best team win because Chris did not play. Um, Dame hit a three to start that comeback before Brooks, and he also had the three, three free throws yes. also. Um, the, the, the free throws, I think. Maybe not. Maybe somebody hit. I don't remember. PC hit a three. PC, PC hit a corner. In the three. corner yeah. for, in the left corner, yeah. the one I threw. Right. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I mean, I, going back to the opener where Dame had a, whatever fourth quarter points, but it seems like he's had free throws and maybe getting to the line. Was tonight a little different in that he maybe wasn't a great shooting night on paper, but he, those were the threes. Those were the, like the playmaking beyond the arc at distance. He hasn't really had to do that yet or done it yet. So was it, is it a little different to see that also for your team and to see that element actually – because you, you guys all he talked can, about it. You can play make of like the pick and roll. Like, what do you mean? Like, so, throughout the year, he hasn't had the the logo threes yet. He hasn't had to come over and shoot from thirty feet foot pull up. Obviously, game winners are yeah. unique. But tonight in overtime, he he did that. He had the, the, the you know what I'm saying? It's like you talked about it, and tonight it happened. And he and he was able to do that and help you guys win. I'm just curious what that maybe felt like, looked like that. I, for me personally, I don't, I don't talk about it. I, I, he knows that everybody in this team have his back no matter what. Um, we know what he's capable of doing. You, you saw tonight what he's capable of doing. That 
I've been with the team 11 years. Arguably the best uh, buzzer beater shot ever made, and he's been on the team 40 games. Would you guys disagree with me? I don't yeah, think anybody I mean, can disagree. Okay. I mean, you're, which, Chris, you're, you're, you're and Chris both have it. Yeah, yeah. Which, against, which one? Chris against the Heat. 2015? Yeah. 2015. Yeah. Guys. Yeah, you had MSG. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Yeah. I don't, I'm not the guy that argued, but Chris, Chris was from, from Zaza, from the post, yeah. out to Chris mm -hmm. for a clean shot. For me, it, yeah, it was a clean shot. He, he <laughs> caught it and shot it for the three-point line. For me, it was a uh, fade away from the elbow. Okay, whatever. For Dame, guys, he caught it from the other side of the of the court, dribbled down full speed, in and out, dribble, sidestep from the logo, and knock it down of balance. Uh, for me, it's the best. Uh, uh, not to try to discredit my and Chris or whatever this might be. Chris is gonna be mad about this. <laughs> we love him. We love Chris. Um, but what I was saying. Like we know what he's capable of doing. He did it um, against Philly, like when he had to. The shot against Kelly Oubre, the step back. He did it against the, the Knicks when he came off the handoff and shot the tough one to tie the game or we went, tie the game and then we went up. You know, like we know we know he can do this. Now it's, it's yeah, I'll, I'll be very honest with you, like doing that uh, more like you know, when he was in, when he was playing in Portland, you know, and obviously they were a great team, made the playoffs a lot of years. I think eight out of twelve years or whatever. But like, he was in a position that he had to do that every single night. You know, um, you know, here, even me, you know, we are we are a part of something greater than us. You know, like Bobby had to score twenty-two and ten today. I don't think, not to discredit anybody that he played with, like. Brooke had 20, BP had 20, I had 20, Malik had 20, and them had 30. I don't think we've ever played in a team that four people also scored 20. You know, so this is the thing, like, I know what this guy's capable of doing, and that's why down the stretch, we were all looking for him. Every handoff, every pick and roll was them initiating it, because that's what he does. Down the stretch, he, he how can I say he excelled? He, like he thrives down the street. and he showed you tonight, man. Like this is not gonna be the first shot he's gonna. He's gonna hit it. many more shots like this. Maybe that might not be buzzer beater. Maybe it might be we go up one or two. You know that's what he does, and we all trust him that he's gonna do that for us. Um, yeah, that's it. One of the uh, great moments from tonight will be the way that you guys celebrated all collectively doing the game time together after celebrating at center court. What was it like for you to watch him do his celebration? Because he doesn't do it often. Uh, yeah, I was, it, it was fun. I, like, I, when he, after he hit the shot, everything was like slow motion. And he went, started doing this. I think I grabbed him, but I grabbed him hard. <laughs> you know, I don't know if I was like, was suffocated. I, was, I grabbed him really hard. You know, I, was doing, I was doing this. Then I was like doing this and waving and stuff. Like I've been out of character, but um, it's fun, man. We gotta live life hard, and that's what we did tonight. Everybody was happy for the shot. Um, I don't think we had to put ourselves in a position to get to that shot, but I'm I'm so happy that this guy made it and everybody was happy and everybody celebrated and everybody had a smile on. So we won three in a row. We're playing good basketball. Hopefully we can keep it up. You think about the great individual celebrations in the game. Where does Dame time rank? It's got to it's gotta be, um, it's got to be like top, top two, top three. It's got to be, it's got to be up there. Like, you know, obviously uh, the the night night, that stuff. Um, I like the, I like the sometimes Reggie Miller. I don't remember in what high he did it. The one he did like this, <laughs> I was tough, you know. Uh, Dame, this and this, it has to, it has to be there up there. Then you have the, you know, the LeBron. It's, it's so many, so many that are up there that they've been iconic. Like 20 years from now, 40 years from now, whenever somebody do this, we all know what this is going to be. Like when a kid in Asia, in Philippines, whatever, is going is going to do this, we all know what's going to be. Or when somebody throw. 
shoot the boy in the trash can and says Kobe. Yeah. I feel, oh no, it's. You left out your own mean mug. Yeah, mean mug. Mean mug. Mean mug, man, come on, man. I'm just, I, I'm just ugly. That's, I'm not a mean mug. <laughs>